So, new year and new video. And this particular video is all about something which arrived in the mail just a few days ago. And that is this very nice um, Mont Blanc fountain pen, which I bought on Gumtree um, just earlier this week. So this model is the 146, it is the Mont Blanc Meister 146, in sterling vermeil, or verme, uh, barley corn pattern, or barley corn finish. So what does that mean? That means that this entire pen from top to bottom is solid sterling silver, uh, 925. 92.5% uh, purity, and is plated or filled or rolled on top with um, 18 karat gold overlay, as you can see. Uh, this would be very, very heavy, uh, dense plating, um, nothing that's going to rub off anytime soon. Uh, as you can see, it is a beautiful, beautiful finish. Um, as I said, I bought this thing second-hand, uh, bought it online on Gumtree, and this is a vintage model, this was probably made about 20 years ago, and um, you can only get them as vintage models, they do not uh, make these anymore, you cannot go into a Mont Blanc store and ask them for this model, they will not have it, they cannot give it to you, uh, it does not exist. If you want one, you will have to go on like uh, eBay to dig one up. They do exist, but they are very, very, very expensive. They're two and a half to three and a half to probably up to four grand, uh, depending on, on uh, the type of nib, the finish, the quality, where it's located, how much the postage cost is, and so on. Um, I was very lucky to find this one local. It was just one state away, and uh, the guy who was selling it was getting rid of it for a fire sale price. So <laughs> when it's that good, you uh, you don't ask too many questions beyond you know a bit of the pen's history. Uh, so basically, this was bought in Italy, uh, was brought back to Australia uh, after a trip overseas, and the owner just decided that. The pen wasn't for him for whatever reason, and rather than try and get all of his money back, he put it up online for a low, low price to try and get rid of it quickly. And when I saw it, I just had to have it. I mean, how often do you get a fountain pen in Verme finish? Uh, definitely not very often, and certainly not for this kind of price. Um, so as I said, this is the barley corn finish. Uh, Mont Blanc... Fountain pens like this, which are in the Solitaire line. Um, that's what the uh, this particular line is called with all the precious metals and stuff. Uh, it's called their Solitaire line. Um, they came in two finishes, as I said. This is the Barley Corn, and they would have had a matching one, in again, in sterling silver with uh, gold overlay in pinstripes. Um, which is what the sterling silver one is, this one here. So it would look exactly like this, but it would be gold-plated all the way up and down, um, which I would really love. I don't know, maybe one day I'll get one, uh, and if I do, I will put a video of it up on my channel, but uh, enough about this. Let's get back to this. Um, so... This is a really nice pen. It's nice and smooth. It's got a wet medium nib. So I'll try and give you a uh, a bit of a uh, writing sample. It, it'll be a bit messy um, just from writing through the uh, camera. So here goes.
Uh, it's nice and smooth and quiet, as you can see. Uh, I'll just do a small comparison with this one. This is a fine. So if we compare the two, this is... Uh, You can probably see uh, a bit of a difference. I'll see if I can zoom in. So you can see this is a bit heavier. This is a bit lighter. So let's uh, zoom out again. There we go. So yeah, this is a beautiful pen there's no damage on this at all so clearly it was never used it would have been purchased new and just put away and just never touched there's no there's no scratching there is no plating loss of any kind um there was no ink in it it had never been used uh for anything and it's just a lovely writing pen um there are a few differences between this and the regular uh, 146, and I'll point those out now. So, one major difference, obviously apart from the appearance, is the weight. They are they are substantial chunk because this is all solid silver. So this is, these are substantial chunky fountain pens. You know nothing about this is lightweight in the least um, another and you wouldn't know this unless you have one to compare it to so I'll get that out another thing is that these are actually shorter than the conventional 146 that's what this is so I'll put this here in between and I'll see if I can show you just by lining everything up. You can probably see just that the standard 146, which is the black one in the middle, is actually slightly longer than the solitaire finish ones. So if I like stand it up like this, here it's a bit more obvious. Um, you can see it side by side. But yeah, it's uh, it's a beautiful pen. It's nice and chunky and solid. It is not uncomfortable to write with. Um, if you like, <clears throat> sorry, if you like really like lightweight pens, and you're probably not going to like it. But if a uh, light to medium weight pen doesn't bother you, then uh, it's very comfortable to write with. And uh, yeah, if you decide to buy one, then you know I wish you all the luck in the world because they're not easy to get, uh, especially for low prices. Um, this is definitely the kind of pen that you save up for, and it's the uh, kind of pen which is a once-in-a-lifetime purchase. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or comments about it, then post them below. Uh, if you want to know more about the stuff which I collect, then I will leave a link to my blog in the description section, and you can go and check it out. Uh, you can also check out my eBay profile, where I have fountain pens, pen accessories, I've got antiques, I've got silverware, I've got all kinds of bric-a-brac, uh, all kinds of interesting stuff for sale. Uh, I post all over the world as much as I can. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, and a... Happy New Year!